Hi everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. One of my favorite things to create is gnomes. And I'd made this hot air balloon gnome a while back and I was asked if I could do a tutorial on how I made him. So I decided it would be a good time to do that. With Valentine's Day almost here, he's perfect for that or for every day as well. So I'm going to show you guys right now with this one here, we're going to make our very own little hot air balloon gnome. So let's get started. We're going to start with one air filled balloon from Dollarama. These are the ones that come on a stick. I just removed the stick and I'm just going to put it in this floral foam so I can paint it. And I'm just going to use some white chalk paint now to start. I find the chalk paint just adheres better, I guess. So I'm just going to do a few coats of this. It's going to take a bit. So make sure you get in all those little folds and cracks on the side. This is probably the most time consuming part of this whole project actually. <laughs> so as that is drying, we are going to now start wrapping jute rope around a peanut can. So this is a empty cleaned out peanut can and we just are using some hot glue. And we're just gonna take a spool of jute rope here and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around trying to get it as tight as I can. Just keep hot gluing and wrapping. And now another coat of paint on the balloon. Back to our can here. And I'm just going to do another layer of this. Just not as tightly wrapped this time. We're just kind of filling in those gaps that are, are in there. If you're really good at this and you didn't get gaps, you don't need to do this part. I did. So I'm just going over it once again and then just finishing it off at the top, trimming off those little hairs. And then I decided I wanted to just finish off the top so you couldn't see the can at all on the top. So I just kind of wrap the jute rope now around the top of the can as well. Just with the hot glue. Trimming again those little fuzzies. And now I'm going to take a toddler sock. This is one of those really tiny socks and a styrofoam ball. This is about one and a half inch in size and I'm just going to cut it in half, put the flat side down inside our little tiny sock here. And now I'm going to take some pebbles, just so a small bag of pebbles here from Dollar Tree and we're just going to dump that into our sock, just a little bit for some weight. And then we're going to take a bunch of polyfill and fill that sock up. And some more polyfill. Once we get it as full as you want it, we're just going to top it off with an elastic right at the top. And then a little bit of hot glue. And then we're going to take some blue minky here I have. This is about four inches wide. And I'm just going to put a strip of hot glue on there and then just roll up my sock in there. Strip of hot glue again right at the end then trim it off. Next again at the bottom some hot glue just to tack down that little bit at the bottom. All the way around. Next we're going to use these hair foam rollers for his arms. I'm going to cut those down now. We're going to take our hair foam rollers and we're going to take two of them and cut them at four and a half inches long. Removing the wire from the inside and just trim those off. And then we're going to take a piece of that same blue minky and cut it at the same length approximately. Put a strip of hot glue and roll those arms up. Finish it off with some hot glue and then cut off the extra. Same thing for the next arm. Strip of hot glue, roll it up. Strip of hot glue, roll it to the finish and trim off the extra. Trim off any end pieces you don't want. Next, I just took a white piece of faux fur and I'm just making some trim by hot gluing down the long edges so they meet in the middle there. Then we're just going to put a strip of hot glue all the way along the end of the one arm here and just wrap that faux fur around it. So a strip of hot glue, wrap the faux fur around with the hot glue. Finish it off and trim it off the extra if you need to. I'm just going to cut off the loops off the one end of these wires here. And then we're going to take them and the 
end that has loops still on them, we're going to loop those together and then use some tools to bend them so that they are looped together and stuck together. And then a little bit of hot glue on there to really finish it. Put our arms back on the wires. Add some hot glue where you want those arms to be. I'm going to put that aside for a second and let it cool. Once it's cooled, we're going to cut that tip of sock off at the top and then wrap the remainder around our wires with some hot glue. Next, a piece of white minky here and we're going to cut that at 13 inches by 7 inches. This is for our hat. Next, I'm cutting a piece of pink minky and that is 13 inches long and about 2 inches wide. And we're just going to glue that good side to good side, flip it over, tack that down, and then fold down the other side, right at the back there. Then fold it in half again, good side to good side, cut it into a triangle shape. Hot glue all along the edge there. And press it back together, good side to good side. Turn that right side out. And now I'm going to take another little styrofoam ball. This is a much smaller one, about one inch. I'm not even positive to tell you the truth, but we're going to just wrap that up in some pink minky once again, just cutting a big enough circle that we will cover the whole styrofoam ball that is cut in half. Little hot glue right on the top of it, hot glue all around the edges and just tack it onto the flat side there. Making sure to cover the whole ball though, we don't want any of it to show. Then some hot glue right on that flat side and we're going to glue it right to the top of our hat. Next, we're going to take some polymer clay hands that we've made previously. I will leave a link in the description on how to make the nose and hands. So we're just going to attach those with some E6000 right onto that wire that's sticking out and some hot glue as well. Next, we are going to make these wooden hearts with flowers. I'm just going to show you how I made this one with some other flowers here. We're just going to take some hot glue. These are the little wooden hearts that you get right from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to glue these little paper flowers that you can get at Dollarama or Dollar Tree as well. And we're going to just glue those all around our little wooden heart. Next, I am going to take a piece of faux fur, faux fur for the beard. And we're just going to cut that into a triangle shape. This is about three and a half inches wide. And we're just cutting it so we're not cutting the actual fur, just the backing. And then we're going to add our nose again with some E6000 and hot glue. And we're just going to attach that right into the center there. And then glue it right to the top of our guy. Holding it firmly and then glue all around the inside of our hat. Attaching all the way around him, making sure it's over his arms. And then we're going to add some flowers to his hat. Same colors and same styles as the ones we added to our big wooden heart there. Finishing up painting, I added some metallic white paint and then we added some extreme glitter paint. Now I am working on the green rubber coated flex ties. These you find in at Dollarama in your gardening section. And I'm cutting these to be about 13 inches long. And then I'm going to take my jute rope and I'm just going to add some hot glue and wrap that all the way around these. Again, this is time consuming, not hard, but time consuming. So we're just gonna wrap that all the way around all four of these green ties. Just hot gluing and wrapping it, keeping it as tight as you can. We don't want the green to show if we can help it. And then again, on all four, we're going to do that. Back to our heart now. This is after I put that glitter paint on it. And now I'm going to put some hot glue around the plastic piece at the tip. And we're going to wrap our jute rope around that as well. Being careful not to get it on the balloon if we can help it, but right on the plastic. Next, I'm putting hot glue just on that kind of ridge piece that's on the edge of our balloon there. Just a little bit. So this again, just be careful. You don't want to pop your balloon. So just hot glue all around the edges. The paint kind of helps protect it as well, which is nice. So all the way around the edge, we will do that. And now I'm going to take this uh, 
burlap ribbon, I guess it is, sorry. And we're going to just hot glue it right to the jute rope it itself, all the way around the front of the balloon, and then trim off the extra, adding a little floral foam to the bottom of our can so our gnome sits up a little higher in there. And now we're going to take those wires that we wrapped with jute rope and we're going to attach those to that burlap ribbon that we wrapped around our balloon. Careful again not to get it on the balloon if we can help it. Hot glue it right to the ribbon. And then the other end we're going to glue to our can. Just about halfway down I start gluing so it's about an inch up I guess from the bottom, the end piece. Wherever you want it to be though, depending on how tall your gnome's hat is and stuff too. This is all up to you. And then we're going to attach our gnome's hands to it. Play with the wires a bit. I added a little bit of flowers right to the top. These little berry kind of flowers. They're called berries. But I added those right at the top with just a little bit of hot glue just to kind of hide where it's attached there. And then we took that wooden heart that we made and I'm just going to glue that again right to the front. Play with your wires again, trying to get it to sit right. I glued some flowers along the bottom where it's attached as well. And there he is. So there we have it. Our little hot air balloon gnome is all done. He'd be such a sweet gift to anybody on any occasion. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And thanks again for watching. I'm so appreciative to all of you. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And check back next week for another great creative tutorial. So until then, love to all.